Welcome back to Simulacra 2. It's time to confront Arya about faking the Aloran sponsorship, and then it looks like after that, trying to circle in on who we think accepted the Ripple Man's deal. Have to warn you, when I loaded my save game, it took me to the home screen of the phone, which I did not see at the end of last episode, and the home screen image has changed. It's even more disturbing than it was before. So please don't be too surprised. Um, it's this. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> well, before we actually confront Arya, we should see if there's any discovered files we can reconstruct. And then we also... Uh, God damn it. We also have some new posts and chats. Let's look at Chimera. No, another one taken by TRM. I, su I assume every person there's a picture of is dead or dying. Living in his shadow was suffocating is the quote that they use. My brother was better than me at everything. School, sports, social life, even our shared Chimera channel. Everything came naturally to him. It was an unspoken competition, and everyone questioned why I wasn't on the same level. How is he better than you if he's younger? Living in his shadow was suffocating. Taking the deal changed me. It was the push I needed to start living for myself and find my own identity. Adam Dupont And that's... their brother? Oh, look at this. Hey, are you coming back to school? You disappeared and missed quarter of the semester. Oh, yeah. They're dead. Mina. Only creative souls will understand what it's like to turn pain into art. I don't care what other people say, but I know all my fans would want me to stay true to my art, and I'm staying true to all of you. Is this like an apology? Well, a non-apology video? What's your take on people who think you're commodifying trauma? Uh, <laughs> commodifying trauma? What I mean is, some people say you're glamorizing tragedy. That you're selling sadness, not music. Like, I'm just singing about my life. And most of it sucked. <laughs> Music's the only way for me to deal with it. And like, that's what we do as artists. We turn our experiences into art. Yeah, I mean, as an answer to that question, Mina's completely right. Just the question is kind of weird, because that's not the issue that people have with Mina. It's not that they're making art about a tragedy. That's a good way to work through it. The problem is that it's not their tragedy, and they lied. It took someone else's tragedy. That's the problem. Ah, and then this we've already seen. God damn it. I hate, I forget about it every time. Oh, something new for Maya's laptop. 13th of October. I'm recording this as proof. I've been hearing it for weeks, every night. And you're gonna hear it too? You hear that, right? 
I'm not crazy! Stop. Make it stop. Stop! Get away. Maya barely caught a strange phenomenon on camera. By the way, I don't mean to scare you. Actually, I totally do. But I'm like, I've been 99% sure as this game's progressed that by the end, something will appear behind the phone. Have you noticed we can see behind the phone? I mean, to the sides of it, technically, to our own apartment. The lights flashed occasionally. Nothing interesting has happened so far, but I'm like 99% sure something will appear at some point. Like it's just been there for the whole game. Mm, going back to the home screen, prepare yourself. Rex sent an audio recording. So the number two rule of hustling you got to trust your instincts. And something tells me Arya will stab you in the back to get what she wants. Let your guard down, and her designer heels will stomp all over you. She sure picked the wrong person to stomp on this time. Still need to, need to confront Arya about the Alluren sponsorship. But there... God damn it. There might be something else we can do first. Price of influence. Maya bribing for contact info. Oh, we have that. Yeah, we had that a long time ago. That's the, uh, what is it, spill the tea or something? Contact bribe. Maya practically offered to bribe at hot tea for someone's contact. Adam DuPont shared an article that explains the origin of the Ripple Man and asks Maya to end its reign if she can. 12th of October. Um, Maya. Adam DuPont? This is Maya Crane. Sorry for the sudden messages. I literally had to bribe someone for your contact. It was at hot tea, okay? I'm sorry, but I'm desperate. A Emily told me about you. And the Ripple Man? I need to know if you used TRM or took its deal. Everyone I spoke to is either MIA or acting weird. If you're seeing this, please answer me. I'm so scared. And then the day after, Adam. Hello, Maya? You there? Maya. Adam. Wait. Is it really you? Adam. Yes. Sorry, I had to go out of town and the cell service there was really bad. So you got caught up in TRM too, huh? Maya. Yes. I'm sorry to dump this all on you right now. I'm seeing things. Hearing things. I have no idea what to do. I'm so scared. Adam. You too? You do realize what it means by sacrifice, right? It's really spreading. But I think I found something while I was away. Some website called Patch Notes. The Price of Influence, The Rise and Fall of a Chimera Superstar by David Park, published the 9th of August. Gonna read it first before I scan it, I think. Ooh, there's a lot here. Hold on. Charlie's last Chimera post used with permission. No laptops or phones, right? Charlie Astor questions me urgently as I arrive at his home. He sheepishly inspects my digital tape recorder. Can't be too careful. Even fucking toasters are online these days. Not like you're going to get any connection here anyway. 
It's a signal dead zone. Oh, before I continue, actually, it's a signal dead zone. Um, maybe that's why Adam went somewhere where there was no cell connection. To try to get away from any any way the Ripple Man can possibly get to them. Get away from all technology. I've traveled miles to the middle of nowhere to Astor's Lakeside Cabin, where he lives with his partner, Jamie. It's a quaint and picturesque home, odd only for lack of technology, aside from a CRT television and a few lights. Not the kind of place you expect one of the world's most popular influencers to be in. Or, well, a former influencer. In August 2016, Astor abruptly disappeared from the public eye, deleted all his social media accounts, and became a recluse. Two years later, he seems eager to share his story with me. I jokingly ask about the overt caution against technology, and he answers in a quiet voice. It's because of the Ripple Man. Looks like a beautiful place to be. Charlie Astor's initial claim to fame was his series on Chimera called Ripples. The series focused on social media experiments that served as commentaries of online trends and behaviors. The name itself is a reference to the so-called Ripple Effect. Ripple's classic hits include setting up a fake Chimera influencer account that managed to score dozens of million-dollar endorsement contracts, creating a fake rags-to-riches persona that enthralled thousands before he outed himself, and a fake news campaign where he convinced a shockingly large number of people that the small town of Wyfield did not exist. In a sea of trend-hopping and clickbait content, Aster's series was a breath of fresh air and gained cult following. I want to show people how shallow all of this is, he said in a 2013 interview with us. We spend so much time worrying about likes and follows. It's crazy. It's all just a bit of fun. We shouldn't be taking it so seriously. Ironically, Aster failed to take his own advice. With popularity came the pressure to keep outdoing himself. He lost sight of himself, you know. He was on a mission to make the world better. Better as... as how he wants it to be, says Jamie. Astor's experiments became darker, instigating fights among the homeless, baiting trolls on the notorious Seven Leap Forum, and mounting campaigns to cancel fellow influencers he found morally objectionable or disagreed with him. Even his most hardcore fans were starting to question his motives and methods. Just as an aside, the whole, I guess you could call it a backlash against can so-called cancel culture, which isn't even really a thing, uh, is a crock of shit. It's interesting how people complain about being canceled, and then they go on vacation in their third home and write op-eds and articles in popular newspapers. Wow, really been canceled. Your life is ruined. It just means attempting to hold somebody accountable for being a piece of shit. That's all canceling is. Uh, then came the infamous Chimericon livestream in December 2015, which reached 200 million views before being scrubbed off the web. Filming on a humble Peril P13114, Aster starts the stream as his regular jovial self, before devolving into a bizarre rant against social media users and horrifying threats against those in the influencer industry. A catastrophe of this level should end any influencer's future, but Astor found his career revitalized, reaching tens of millions of viewers. Astor himself, however, believes that particular video marked the true start to his downfall. So who is the Ripple Man? It takes him a while to answer. A god, he pauses, considering his words. And I invoked it. Something happened when I was filming Chimericon. I channeled it into my phone. Astor believes that his state of mind and obsession with exposing the wrongs of social media had willed a higher power into existence, one that was eager to take over his life for its own ends. He recounts the frightening events he experienced at the height of his fame. Reflections of himself were distorted. Tangled voices occupied his mind, and he felt a constant presence looming behind him. Worse were the blackouts, where he couldn't remember a thing. When he came to, he'd find new content published to his page. These gaps in memory intensified each time Astor tried to get off social media completely. 
It wouldn't let me go. It owned me, he says. So how did he beat a god? By cutting off its supply of power, literally, he replies with a humorless chuckle. I found that fucker's weakness. Desperate for relief, Astor had taken to his childhood pastime of camping and hiking. On these mini-trips, he soon realized that the further he ventured from the city, the less he felt the presence. However, when he returned, the blackouts doubled in duration and days would be lost on him. On one occasion, Astor found himself coming to in front of his bedroom mirror with an inexplicable urge to repeatedly bash his face into the glass. It was primal. The cruel god read his thoughts. If that's what you wish, it teased. And he did. While recovering from his injuries, Astor decided to end his connection to this god once and for all. This place was the perfect spot, dead zone and all, Astor says, gesturing around the cabin. Because I figured that thing moves through signals, transmissions. I even had a signal jammer as a backup just in case. To complete this makeshift ritual was the phone that started it all, the same one he used to film the Comericon stream. It's like a totem, you know? That phone brought it to life, he says. Yet, as he was about to hit delete, he froze, suddenly feeling the presence beside him. It felt like I was getting choked from the inside, Astor recalls. From Jamie's perspective, Astor was struggling and being flung about on his own. He looked possessed, and for the first time I could feel it too, says Jamie. Acting quickly, Jamie intervened to erase the account, unbinding the connection between the two. After the encounter, Astor refused to leave the cabin, so Jamie packed up, auctioned off all their belongings, and joined him here for a quiet, unexciting life. It's perhaps the strangest explanation of the end of a promising influencer's career, one that raises even more questions than answers. Was this just another person cracking under the pressure of constant attention? A warning against what social media is doing to our mental health? Or did Charlie Astor really have a brush with things beyond our understanding? Whatever you think of Astor's story, I believe that he truly believes it. He still appears haunted by the experience, a shell of his former self. At least in this remote place, he seems to have found something that fans had never given him. Peace. Interview of Charlie Astor in the Origin of the Ripple Man. Maya, what is this? Adam, everything about the Ripple Man might be in that article. I even tried tracking down that guy, but it was a dead end. I thought I could get his old phone. That's the key to ending all of this. But he gave it away. I have no idea how to even begin finding it now. Maybe the best thing you can do now is just let it end with you. Lessen the spread. Wait, let it end with you? Meaning just die? <laughs> Maya. No, I dragged my friends into this mess and I'm not just going to give up. It says in the article that he auctioned off his belongings. He was huge, right? Surely some fan or something has it. It's a long shot, but I might know someone that might be able to help me with this. Adam. Oh? Well, good luck. Maya, what about you? What's going to happen to you? Adam, same as Emily, I guess. A fake shell of myself. Maya, if I find that totem, I can help you too. Adam, please, don't contact me anymore. I can't guarantee that I'll still be... me. But do what you have to do. Help your friends. Save yourself. Okay, so we want to find information about uh, the phone that Charlie auctioned off. Sorry, what was their full name? Charlie what? Charlie Astor. I'm going to go to the home screen. Don't be scared. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm going to write in the notes. Charlie Astor auctioned off phone. Okay. Can I, like, 
we search for that here at all? City Records? Would an auction be on City Records? Like, probably not. I don't know. Finance, Blueprints. Just the three. I don't think so. Gym employee giving some security advice to Maya. Clue required Maya at her gym locker. Maya at her gym locker. We have Maya's gym routine video. Does that show their locker? Not sure. Yes. Eli, a gym employee, explaining how Maya's new locker password system works. 7th of September. Eli, namaste, Maya. It's Eli from Mind Body Fitness. Just need to update you on a little situation here. Maya, oh no, is there a soy shortage again? Eli, not anything that serious. <laughs> this is about locker security. Maya, oh, Eli, there's been a string of break-ins recently. The scandal. Although we encourage our patrons to use their own padlocks, some of them still choose to keep their belongings unlocked. Maya, seriously? Eli, yep. We're taking initiative to buff up security by supplying padlocks for our patrons. It's the type with an alphabetical lock combination, so it's easier for us to unlock it if someone forgets. They will. Here, I've already set it for your, for your locker. Okay, got that written down. Maya, I have tons of passwords to remember and now you're giving me another one? I'm terrible at remembering this. Eli, way ahead of you, girl. Got a real easy method to recommend. I based your password on your gym schedule. I used the initials of your instructor's names as the combination starting from Monday till the end of the week. So all you need to remember is who your instructors are and the order of your classes. Maya, fantastic. Why didn't I think of that? Eli, security and convenience are our priority. Maya, thanks for the update. Eli, my pleasure. Toodles. Maya, bye. Do we know Maya's instructors? We know one of them, but we need all of them. Well, apparently they had four instructors. Let's see what else we can reconstruct. Hauntings. Video of Maya seeing things. Oh, just got that. It was only after using TRM, both Maya and Emily experienced strange visions and hearing voices. Emily Wong. 6th of October. Maya. Hi, Emily. This is Maya Crane. I know your friend, Florence. Sorry, I don't have time for formalities, but did you use TRM? Emily. Yes. This is beyond spooky. I need to talk to someone about that, too. Have you seen Florence? Maya. I saw her posting yesterday about her new cat. Emily. No, have you seen her with your own eyes? Maya. I'm not that close to her. We don't really hang out. Why? Emily. I haven't seen her physically. We've been talking online, but she never wants to meet up. I was at the Allure and Press thing last week, and I saw her posting a pic of the event, but I didn't see her there at all. Maya. What the hell? Emily. Have you been hearing voices? Seeing things? Maya. Yes! How did you know about that? Does this have something to do with TRM? I even caught some incidents on camera. I swear, I saw something there. Emily. Oh no. You have to stop using it. It's going to get worse. Someone is watching and messing with you. Have you told anyone else? Maya. My friends. I got them to sign up to TRM too. Emily. The Ripple Man will come for you and your friends. Maya. The what? Emily. Look for Adam DuPont. I introduced TRM to him too, and when I started hearing the voices, I told him to be careful. He's smart. Maybe he figured something out. I've been trying to call him, but he keeps telling me he's out of service. Maya. Okay. Can I have his number then? Three hours later. Emily, are you there? Emily. I'm here. Yes. Maya. How do I contact Adam? Emily. Stay out of my business, Maya. 
Don't worry about it. Focus on bettering yourself. Maya. What? Emily, are you okay? Emily. I'm fantastic. And you will be too soon. Jesus Christ. Between these three hours, Emily was possessed. Or disappeared and replaced with... And given what we've heard about pictures being posted by people on their profiles from events they didn't actually go to and not physically seeing anyone, I wonder if they've just died or been sucked into the internet and <laughs> basically the Ripple Man is posting on their account. Ghost posting. Ghost writing their tweets. The special privileges of dupe are currently being reviewed. All ongoing dupe investigations will be placed directly under HQ until further notice. Request for temporary personnel has been granted for 24 hours. Field Team Delta is now under dupe's command. Nothing left to recover. Time to confront Arya. About the Alluren Sponsorship. I have to ask you about this. What the heck is this? You lied about being their ambassador. God damn it. Fine, I admit it. I faked my brand sponsorship. Oh no. Alluren published it. I'm so screwed. What do you have against me? You're just as bad as those so-called fans who just follow me to troll and put me down. What else are you lying about? I'm not lying now. I needed that Alluren deal to boost my ratings, okay? You have to show that you're successful to get jobs, and perception trumps realness every time. Plus, Alluren's a big company. I didn't think they'd bother checking someone like me. Things are going to get worse for you. What the hell? That too- Ah! Fuck! Ah, just another day in Marlo's life. Why do they always stick me with these idiots, I swear? You, of all people, you've been doing this too long. What, just because I take the weirdo cases, everybody's gonna work against me? Stick me with the losers? Oh, come on, not another one. Maybe if I... Nah. Huh? Aw, oh, man. Thanks, Marillo. Listen, I was desperate and I made a stupid mistake. Sometimes I feel pressure to act like my life is more exciting than it is, okay? But I can and intend to fix myself on my own terms. I never needed the Ripple Man's deal. You've taken the easy way out before. How is this relevant? Is asking for likes a crime now? You're scrutinizing every single thing I do. That's not fair. I didn't take the Ripple Man's deal. I didn't kill Maya. I would never want anything bad to happen to her. Rex disagrees. Rex? What does he have to do with this? That prick told you about the Alluren thing, didn't he? I'm going to kill him. Yeah, he did. He will say anything to get what he wants. Can't you see? You spoke to him, right? A half-decent sleuth would see he's a lying con artist. He's pretending to help you because he can benefit from it. I know. I see right through him. Then we agree on something. He's a total grifter. He figures out what you want and claims he can help you get it while milking you for what you're worth. 
You're his ticket out of this mess, and I'm sure he'll make use of that. He did run a pyramid scheme. And how's that turning out for him? That's motive right there. He could have taken the deal to wash his hands clean. When Maya died, Rex's facade came crashing down. I'm getting kind of extra suspicious of Mina, to be honest. How did Mina behave? Mina was acting all innocent and stupid at first. And after Maya died, she suddenly became so accusatory. She brought up the deal, made it sound like one of us did it. Why would she say that? Maybe she took it? I'm done screwing around back and forth. Rex and Mina have real reasons to take that deal. This influencer thing doesn't work out for me. I still have options. For them, this is all they have. Why would Mina take the deal? Why wouldn't she? She's been fabricating personal tragedies to prop up her image. Doesn't that disgust you? Her fans are not idiots. They see right through it. I don't think they can take her suffering anymore. Her story was bullshit. There you have it. You figured it out. She turned someone else's tragedy into a brand. How despicable is that? Why would she sacrifice Maya then? Maya was the one who guided her brand in the beginning. But Mina's a lost bird on her own. Any backlash she got, she managed to make it worse. She ended up blaming Maya for it, you know? Hmm. Their story checks out. There you go. The deal would free her of all her problems. Then go get that brat. Thanks for your help. God damn it. Fuck. All right. Um, sorry. I'm really not up for talking right now. I don't have the space for it. I'm just feeling so torn up as it is. I'm just feeling so torn up. You're feeling so torn up. Maya? You tore me up! No. No, 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 no! Yeah, I am leaning towards Mina. Mm. Mm. Jabber. Men are trash, but that's not a surprise. And this one is particularly slimy. Very true. Like. Hashtag not all men. Hashtag go fuck yourself. Noah. I forgot, could I free write comments? Yeah. Totes agree. I don't think I should have tweeted that. That's creepy as fuck. <laughs> oh my god, that thing just spoke to me. This is getting out of hand.
What did it say? It was bizarre, but it proved me right. I'm ending this nonsense. Whoa. Yeah. Aria, Mina, you lying bitch, you killed Maya. Mina, no, Rex took Ripple Man's deal. Rex, what? Aria's the two faced cow who did this to us. Aria, are you freaking stupid? Why the hell would I do that? Rex, because you're a murderer. Mina, like, hello? You're totally the killer, Rex. Are you going to bicker until the Ripple Man shows up? Aria, you're right. We end this right here, right now. Rex. Yeah, you're supposed to solve this, right? Aria. Who do you think took the deal? Rex. Yeah. You know it's one of these two. Mina. It has to be Aria or Rex. Or both. Yeah, I'm not comfortable with this. Mina. But you know the best right now? What? Aria, just follow my lead. You know I'm right about this. Rex, save it, alright? Everyone knows I'm the guy with answers. Hmm. I think it was Mina. Mina. I didn't do it! You know I'll never harm Maya. You're both just against me because I'm the only one who cared about her. What are you trying to say? Rex, come on, she's just pulling her emo shtick. Mina, I should have seen the signs. All of you only think about yourselves. Rex, <laughs> that's rich considering you summoned a demon that killed Maya. Mina, you signed up for the service too. Aria, we know our limits, Mina. You're way out of control right now. Rex, why are we still talking? Can't we, like, contain her or something? Mina, if that's what you all think, I'm going to start acting like the person you want me to be. What do you mean? Mina, this is how everyone treats me, so I'm going to prove them right. I just took the Ripple Man's deal. Hope you're all happy now. Rex. God, finally she's telling the truth. Aria. Wait, what do you mean just? Uh, wait. Mina left. Aria. Something's off about this. What if we're wrong? Rex. Uh, shouldn't we do something to stop her? She might come after us, you know. I'll handle this. Instruct Murillo and his strike team to capture Mina. Eh. Send the team for Mina. My god, you solved it? Are you sure you're right? No room for mistakes here. Well... Mina made the deal now, at least. Mina made the deal. Amazing work. I can take over from here. I'm prepping the team. Are you still on the line with them? Mm, she blocked me. I, I assume? Can I leave and go check? No, I, I don't think they blocked me. Hold on. Uh, let me try to call them. Welp. Can't be contacted. 
Never mind. We'll get her. Now, please get me up to speed. I need to know to know to expect when we bust what there's missing a word there. I need to know what to expect when we bust down that door. Um. Okay, should I call them? Mmm, okay. this Simulacra. your name for our kind yes we are ripple clad our beings are intertwined you two may join us as will many more as will many more what do you want Why do you need them? They help us extend our influence. Souls like you who mold the choices of others. Your words fed Nina's despair. I get the feeling this m might mean that I am getting a bad end, <laughs> or the not the best end. Yeah, Mia's not the one who took the deal. I didn't mean to. Why are you doing this? We seek connections to this world to be real. We now wish to be seen. Now we are luminous, a bright star. All will see us. The detective. He led you astray, yes? You can't fix it. I'm not falling for your deal. All tethers eventually do. You may have a taste. We can alter reality as it is perceived by others. You can make them see whatever you wish. The ripple effect. Choose your version.
Hello. I know you hacks don't follow things through, but now is not the time to disappear on me. Where the hell are you? I just saw the Ripple Man attack Mina. What? How? A vision? Or maybe an illusion? The simulacrum could be toying with us. You better get there fast. The team and I are almost at the scene. So we are right about our perp? It's more complicated than that. What? I need a straight answer. This case is going to make or break dupe. The team I have here? Best guys on the force. If we're wrong about this, they'll be taking me in instead. If dupe is dissolved, there'll be no one left to look into these creatures. I don't really want to ask any of these questions. What happens to me? I don't know. You're a ghost. You don't exist in this investigation. As far as they know, I acted alone. Can't let all the work I've put into dupe just end. The truth needs to be exposed, so please tell me that we got this right. Eh. <sighs> It's definitely not Mina, so it's either one of the others, or none of them. I'm gonna say none of them. We made a mistake. None of them caused Maya's death. What? How is that possible? Mina only took the deal moments ago. What? Then what caused Maya's death? Maya. She did this did this to herself, didn't she? Oh God, it was so obvious. Why didn't I see that? We got it all wrong. What have I done? It's not your fault. Of course it is. I pinned all of it on those poor kids. My pig-headedness killed this case, and gave the Ripple Man another victim. Don't give up now! No. Pushed so hard for my version of the truth. They're not gonna cut me any slack now. Maybe I deserve. I offered you to alter your reality, yet you exposed the truth. I will never do what you want. Never was an instruction. Only a test of value. No matter. Your truth crippled the one organization that could have stopped me. I'm tired of playing your games. I merely revealed your true nature. I have no use for someone who accepts the world they are given. <laughs> this is not the end. I will load a save game or something. There is no end or beginning. Since authenticity is so precious to you, live with the knowledge that we are here now. Eager to consume more. Team Delta, please detain Detective Morello and escort him back to HQ for processing.
just what I mean. What are you doing here? Come to see my career meet its gruesome end? Just like those kids? What, now you feel bad? Look, we both know you think I'm some old, useless, doddering crackpot. But you know damn well as I do, I'm a great cop. We were so close until you cocked everything up. We could have saved them. You know why I was pushing you so hard on this? It was my only lead for so many victims. Something bad is coming our way. I can feel it in my bones. I was a fool to think I could stop it. Forget it. Just leave. I guess you tried your best. Too bad it wasn't good enough. It says the person who pocket dialed me like two or three times. Ooh, look at all this. I was wondering how they'd show me, like, what I can do as far as different pathways, or whether I would just have to kind of guess, but it looks like they actually have a tree, and it looks like I've only uncovered, what, like half of it? Oh, this is really cool looking. Um, yeah, I'd say I've done maybe half of it, maybe 60% at most. So what do we what have we got here? Expose her alluring controversy, and then there's some other things that could lead from that. Exposed by Rex. Oh, they ah right, they all connect to whatever this is, which I'm guessing is the end. Probably like the I don't know if it's a good end or the proper end or what. Everything seems to flow to that. Mm. Man claims Mina. There's a lot of stuff around Mina. And then this... Just some arms coming off. I don't know what they're about. Yeah, I'm not, like, I'm not sure exactly, specifically, what to do different. Should I just try to do different things? And then just see what happens? I guess. Did you enjoy your experience? <laughs> is it like all those ads asking you yes or no questions? <laughs> yes. Please give us a rating, leave a review to show your support. I can't tell if this is an in-universe thing or if this is actually real. Because I, I think this game might have come out on uh, like Android and, and iOS too. I'll press skip. Assuming it might take me to an app store or something? I don't know. Fast mode. Okay, good. Yep, now we got this down here. Bottom left. Oh. We have to go through this again. Fast mode. Be sped tremendously for a speedier completion. It doesn't say how it's sped tremendously. So that's a little weird. Yeah, like, should I choose checkpoints or should I just start an entirely new game? I th think I should probably just start a new game. All previous progress will be lost. Wait, can I continue? Well, let's start a new game to continue? Where's it gonna load the... Okay. 
When they say previous progress will be lost, I have to assume they don't mean all the endings I've discovered and stuff. Like, no way, right? That'd be absurd. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to get the other things. I guess let's go with the detective this time, just for a change of pace. Instead of a journalist. I think we'll get a different intro don't video. Your nose in that. No, I don't care if you're on overtime. Just fix the damn thing. Damn plumbers. So, you keep saying you're ready for the big stuff. Well, today's your lucky day. Awards won't get you respect. Look, you're the only one around this whole damn place I can trust. Everyone else is too set in their way of thinking. This is a secret operation, so you keep your mouth shut. Anyone finds out about this and our careers are toast. Turn the phone on when you're out of the station and alone. I'll give you more instructions soon. I wish I could say it's a matter of life and death, but uh, I'm afraid it's more than that. Don't screw this up. Okay, saved, so I can use this as a good place to go back to the menu and see if it kept my tree of decisions and stuff. It did. Yes, good. <laughs> Just make sh making sure it didn't truly reset everything. That would be absurd, but had to check. Okay, well, I just spent a good maybe half hour playing through the beginning of the game again. I wish there was a way to, like, a better replay system of some sort. But unfortunately, you have to start it completely anew. I was hoping maybe all my clues would still be saved. They weren't. But I've played through all the beginning stuff, gotten to the point where I need to interview all the suspects individually. Phones restored, um, gathered ton of clues, all these. So I think this will be a good place to resume from in the next episode when we try to get some other endings.